Hi, my name is Sam and this is a tutorial on animation in Revizo. So in this tutorial we will focus on special events like pause, break, go to, and snapshot. So the first thing we're going to do is I just opened up the motor, our motor animation from our previous animation tutorials. So I just opened up this animation and it's the exact same animation that we made earlier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the pause command. So all you have to do, you can either right click here and add pause, or you can go here and add pause. So what this pause command does, it adds, like, it can stop the frame for a second or two. So I'm just, if I add a, if I change this to one and just press enter, it will add a one second pause there. So now when we play this, like this, when we get to 10 seconds, it will pause for one whole second. Okay. So the next part is called a break. So this break allows you to stop an animation until the user requests that you go on. So if I add this like here, if I add this here, and press play, when it gets there, it will stop until I tell it to go. So how you tell it to go is you can either press this button, the forward button, or you can press F4. The next one we're going to go to is go to. So this add go to, this will allow you, so if I want to go here, let's say 17 seconds, and I want it to head back to 6 seconds, it, that's what it will do. So now if I go like right here and press play, and when it hits this go to module or keyframe, it will immediately start back at six seconds. So this is like an infinite loop. See? So this snapshot command, this adds a snapshot wherever you want it. This is, you can take a picture while it's doing an animation. So one thing to make sure you set correctly is your snapshot output directory. Because if you leave it where it is right now, it will give you an error looking console for details. This is because your snapshot out snapshots output directory is in a folder that you can't modify. So we just if we just click browse and I'm just going to choose my desktop. Then when it goes there. It is now taking a snapshot and sends it to my desktop. See? So there's. So I'm just going to add a few more animations in for a second. You can layer them and you can just drag them about. It's really nice and easy. So if I don't want this pause to be there, I can just add a skip pause. I can just click, so this is in the settings menu, and I just click skip pause, now when it goes to this pause, it will just skip right over it, like it never was there. And if I want to skip the snapshot, it will do that too. So you can modify this. If you don't want function keys to work to switch it, like F4, just click no. Okay? So that will be all for today, and thanks so much for watching this Aviso 9.0 tutorial, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial.